Hi there. So, as you might have noticed, I'm filming back to back videos and I'm filming the empties video first because I have a lot to go through. The last empties I did was probably in September last year. I would be racing through the product reviews if you want to know anything in particular about any of the products that I'm talking about. Feel free to write me in the comment section below and I'll reach out to you as soon as I can. But without wasting any more time, let's just get on with all this mess right here. So, I there's no particular order to this video, obviously cannot be. Uh, so I'll be grabbing the products and talking about on the go. So the first product that I want to talk about is this body lotion from the brand uh, Bath & Body Works. Absolutely worth it to me. The scent is great. They absorb into the skin beautifully. Do not leave any kind of greasiness on the skin. And I really hate lotions, you know, which take forever to soak into your skin. These like they go into the skin like that and they hydrate your skin pretty well too i have this um, body scrub from the brand called tbg this is the brand that i got to know about from the subscription box completely used it up tbg i really did not care for this particular scrub the granules here were like very harsh on the skin it had a very potent coffee scent, which I really did not enjoy. Uh, I like gritty scrubs for my skin, but the grittiness here was way too much for me to handle. And also it left a very heavy, greasy film on my skin, which I thoroughly did not enjoy. And these products are pretty expensive on its own legs, so not worth it to me. Next up, I have another body scrub and I have a couple of body scrubs in this video because like I said, the last video was in September and I had a lot of body scrubs going at one point of time. So we'll have a few right here. So this one is from the brand uh, L'Occitane. It is in their limited edition packaging. It was one of those gel scrubs which I bought mainly for the scent. But apart from scent, the experience of an overall scrub was absolutely non-existent uh, it was basically a very uh, you know cool feeling gel you applied on your skin and basically it does nothing as far as exfoliation goes so this was again a total fail for me this body cream shower, shower button from uh, forest essential it's in the scent nargis the scent is really really beautiful it was a decent product, I enjoyed while I had it, but I wished the scent could linger on for a little more time. Like the moment you splash some water on your skin after you've done, you know, scrubbing, rubbing your body with it, uh, the scent just fades away. Absolute no trace of it on your skin. So I wished um, it could linger on for a little long. It's a decent product, but it's not something that I would buy from them again. I would rather go in for a body, body lotion or an oil from this particular scent line, I'd say. But the shower cream would not be something that I would be repurchasing because first of all, I went through it so quickly and, and I really didn't notice it giving my body that extra smoothing or you know softness to my skin which a regular body wash cannot so this one no moving on i have another body wash from the bath and body works i really really like their aromatherapy range this one's from that one it is bergamot cedar wood smells amazing i cannot use these body wash because if I go consistent with them, they give me little bumps on my skin, the, you know, what do you call it? they trigger the KP issues on my arms, but my husband loves using them, so this is the one that he finished off, but I really, really do like the scent, and once in a while I, you know, splash my body with it, but a good uh, product from 
Bath and Body Works and a little, really little goes a very long way. Moving on, I have this Love Beauty and Planet shampoo. This is the tea tree shampoo. It was a mildly clarifying shampoo in my opinion. I enjoyed while I had it but this is not something that I would buy for myself in future because it had very nice scent but I like trying out different shampoos but if you are looking out for a shampoo that could refresh your scalp and you know give that a little body and bounce and it smells amazing and is not heavy on pocket as well so this is the one that you should go for these two soaps this one's from Soa and this one's from Bioderma absolutely terrible experiences both of them this one had a very very bad scent to it really did not enjoy melted off way too quickly in the shower the Bioderma one I had high hopes for but it was too drying for my skin and it is for very dry irritated sensitive skin stay away you really do not want any more dryness on your body with this one so another tbg product this one's the face scrub comes exactly in the same packaging as the body scrub way too gritty for my face i ended up using it on my body extremely harsh very greasy and it like the body scrub this one too does leave a very oily residue on the skin which i thoroughly did not enjoy so another feel from the brand next up is my absolute favorite coffee based scrub that smells divine this one's from Aminu. This smell is like so intoxicating. I really, really do like it. The granules you have are just perfect. It gives you that beautiful exfoliation, leaves your skin feeling so soft, smooth, hydrated. No greasiness, no nastiness. Scent is absolutely to die for. I wish Aminu had body wash in this particular scent, but this is like my absolute favorite sugar-based scrub from them. I, I've tried out their salt based scrub as well, but the sugar scrub is what I would go for next. Okay, moving on, let's talk about this uh, micro exfoliating treatment from Shankara. I've talked about this in my previous, one of my previous videos, link somewhere here, completely gone, really liked it. Check out that video if you want to know a little more about it, but it's a beautiful, beautiful, very uh, finely milled exfoliating product that does give that smoothness and that you know lifts off all the dead skin off from your face without causing any damage to your skins really really like it Shankara as a brand is something that you need to look out if you are into the Ayurveda inspired skincare beautiful products from the brand next up I have another body scrub from the brand humankind I got it off from Nika. I don't know why they say it's a body scrub. It was basically a gel with scattered granules all around. Absolutely terrible experience with this one. I ended up mostly wasting it to be very honest because it was a no use product. I mean like I really did not enjoy it as a normal body wash shower gel too because like Nah, don't waste your money on it. Body cream from the brand Innisfree. Um, it was fairly decent body cream, completely used it up. It is one of those creams which sink, takes a little time to soak in but is non-greasy and immensely hydrating on the skin. So this is the kind of product that I enjoy during the winters rather than in summers. So if you're looking for a good body cream or you have very dry skin, this one's a good good option moving on i have another and probably the last body scrub from the brand ross i've talked about it in the ross video link would be up here another disappointment for the body scrub range really did not care for it let's talk about few body oils this one's from forest essential uh, this one is a green tea one and this is from skog really like the scent of this one this had a slightly thinner texture but none of these two I would 
go back to because I have a lot of body oils to go through but if you're looking out for a good one uh, I'll definitely recommend the Skog or the Forest Essential but only if Skog could you know change the packaging because once you have applied body oil on your body and you go about getting you know the second shot it the bottle becomes very slippery so do something about the packaging Skog but the product here is absolutely brilliant really like it sinks into the skin beautifully no greasiness no nothing and the scent kind of lingers on which i really like this dermalogica multivitamin thermofoliant a very expensive exfoliant for your face it is both chemical and physical would not you know get this one because i really really do like the shangra one over this thermofoliant and it's way too expensive for just an average working facial exfoliant i do not get the hype would not buy it in future it's not bad i, I do, i'm not saying that i it's a bad product i really enjoyed while i had it but it would take a lot of courage from my end to you know shelve out so much money on this when i can really save and splurge on something like this which is equally as good so out of these two this is my first choice. Next up, I have a few serums. This one's glycolic and salicylic acid serum from the brand Neemly Naturals. It's a good product if you have oily, acne-prone skin. But if you have sensitive skin as well, I would say that goes low with this one because this stuff here is really potent. This was something that I applied two or three times in a week. I could not use this, you know. On a daily basis because i find it to be a little too strong for my skin but if you have kp issues on your arm this is a beautiful product that really does work you know at taking care of those nasty bumps next up i have this breakout control serum from deconstruct it was a decent serum for the price at which it comes at i enjoyed it while i had it but this is not something that i would repurchase again uh, same is next up I have few facial oils these two are like very very old facial oils from Elena I ended up using both these oils on my body I really did not enjoy them on my facial skin because they kind of stay put on your skin and do not you know just sink in the way I want I have a few facial oils that I absolutely absolutely love which sink into the skin beautifully but these were definitely not those. Next up, I have this Spy Facial Oil. Uh, this is ever so famous, their rosehip oil. Really do not care for it. I have another facial oils that I really, really enjoy over the Spy one. I don't get the hype why it was so hyped up because I felt it like, you know, just kind of sits on this skin. I want my facial oils to, you know, absorb into my skin and I have some brilliant, brilliant stuff in my collection which i would share very very soon next up i have this hair care empties this one's the oa conditioner and shampoo from devoness absolute favorite line from devoness this is the one that i would definitely definitely repurchase love these uh shampoo and conditioner the conditioner is immensely hydrating and it's more like a mask than a normal conditioner thoroughly enjoyed it the scent is like divine makes my hair feel so very soft bouncy and beautiful suitable for colored treated hair as well but absolutely love this oil range from devoness next up uh it's this number three olaplex i have something else that i love more than olaplex links would be up here next up i have uh, a candle empty this one's Velvet Rose from the brand Acom. It's a beautiful scent. If you are not into very rose scent, you won't like it. I have emptied out this and the one that I'm currently burning out is Mahogany. And I really, really do like this scent. Very reasonable. Fills up the room beautifully, you know, if you have larger spaces. These are the candles that have really strong scent and they really fill up the room and yeah i really like these scents from Acom. if you haven't you know tried out the candles highly suggest that you do the next empty is 
this Glam Glow Super Mud Mask. I don't get the hype why it is so hyped up. It's a very basic clay based face mask in my opinion. I really like the Body Shop charcoal one over this one. It's too pricey. Definitely would not be buying it again because the charcoal one from the Body Shop does an equal great if not better job than the Glam Glow hair. So this one is a definitely a no-go for me. This is like probably my last empty. Yeah. So these two are the collagen supplements that I take. These are from the brand called Neutrova. These are blueberry flavored, come in you know, individual sachets. I have seen a tremendous improvement in my skin ever since I've started incorporating these drinks into my routine. All you need to do is take a glass of water, put one sachet in, mix it and drink it whenever you feel like I take it before going to bed and I really really have seen improvements in my skin so if you're looking out for a tasty collagen based supplement so I believe that's pretty much it for this video today my camera is dying so if you see any product that you want to know more about feel free to write them down in the comment section and I'll see you all next week till then take care have a good day and bye bye